I have to start with the question of what does season two bring for for these three? What what can we expect to see? I think for Hillary, you can expect a lot more love and vulnerability this season as she explores her relationship with Jazz and all the pros and cons that come with that and, and figuring out how to accept love without being fearful of losing it. Um, For Ashley, um, I get to work with the amazing Tatiana Ali, who plays um, Miss Hughes. And really, she teaches her an invaluable lesson on activism that she really uses throughout the entire series. So. Yeah, and this season for Viv is the balance of how to get her nephew to come back home, how to get Jeffrey and her husband to mend those bridges that are broke, and how to get her art career to the next level where she's actually expressing her voice, how to get the Neiman Fellowship off her back, how to how she's just got a lot of things going on. I love the fact that from what I've seen so far, season season one felt a little bit like there it was creating, of course the elements of the story, but it also felt like a bit of the divide was created between characters. And season two has started to feel to me like it's almost the bring together again of some of these characters and relationships. Does that, does it track for you three or how do you feel about it? Well, you know, sort of like an accordion, you know, for there to be tension, you have to bring everything back together for a while before you create the tension again, right? So that's what happens maybe in the first few episodes. There's definitely some issues, but you know, every good movie has to start happy before the horror show shows up, right? <laughs> what would you say working with Carla and Morgan is like? What uh, What is it like as a cast member being part of this series with them and, and what they've brought to the story? Carla is an incredible showrunner. First, I mean, I, I was talking to her today and these episodes that she's created this season uh, with Morgan Cooper's help, I think they really understand the assignment of how do you pack a show with nostalgia, with a feeling of like the prequel feeling of like who was Will and um, Carlton before Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like, and, but at the same time, they know what it means to create this family loving feeling and then stop and know how to create the true tension of what it means to live today in 2023. How they're able to be topical, even though we shot most of this stuff six months ago. Like, I think they really understood what the culture is having a conversation about and also have the elements of artistic stuff in there too. And bringing in Tatiana Ali and Saweetie, I just think it's a really great balance of story and entertainment and some heartfelt things in there too. Amazing. Well, the last I'll ask very quickly is, do you have a favorite episode? I've been talking to Carla and, and Morgan and they- So they what did they theirs. say? What's their favorite episode? Uh, Carla was six and Morgan was five slash, uh, Eight nine. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we haven't seen all the episodes, but I would I haven't seen it, but six, I have a feeling six is going to be so amazing. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk about it. I still feel like that about 10. Like the way that it ends. That's true too. Is yeah. actually it leaves you probably like on a cliffhanger. Yeah, definitely right. 10 for me as well. We yeah. just wrapped episode 10 uh two o'clock this yes. morning. <laughs> um so it's still fresh in us, yes. Very fresh, I'd say. Very, very fresh. <laughs> still steaming. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Still steaming. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. you. 